Hello, and welcome to Hartley's Handmade. I'm Caitlin, and this is a podcast about knitting, spinning, and all handmade things that go on in my little corner of the world. Today is July 3rd, 2023. Um, it's a Monday. Um, I have fuzz on my mouth. Okay. So, I've been spinning because it's tour de fleece, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you all this first. I have been spinning some yak and silk and it gets everywhere. It's all in my mouth and it spins incredibly thin. So I have a few finished objects, a lot of spinning that's finished. Um, I cleaned off my bobbins and finished everything up before Tour de Fleece started and that started July 1st. Um, and I'm posting to several teams the electric eel wheel, which my six is not working right now, but um, I did get in contact with Maurice and he is going to send me some stuff to fix it. Um, and then, but so I've been primarily spinning on my Echo, which is my new bobbin and it's right here. I can touch it. <laughs> so to get started, what I'm wearing, this is the Caribbean Pearls Top But Not by Gingy Knits. Um, basically, I was talking to her about it and I was like, yeah, I knit your pattern. And then I went on about like all the stuff that I had done different. And she was like, so basically you didn't knit my pattern. And I'm like, okay, no, I didn't really knit your pattern. I used your numbers. But all of that to say, I love it. This yarn is uh, Spun Sugar by Chicken Lady Fiber Arts on her Sarama Bamboo, which is Merino and Bamboo. And I'll try to sit up and let you see. It's a little cropped right now. Whoop. I've been wearing it with some like higher waisted pants. I don't like my tummy hanging out and I could have knit more, but it's knit from the bottom up and I knit a folded over hem to start because I just really like that. Um, I am going to try next time. I didn't do any waist shaping, which she has in her pattern, but I didn't do any waist shaping because I don't like waist shaping. Um, but next time I'm going to try to flip it around and knit it from the top down so that I can get all I can out of it because this was only like 80 90 something grams of yarn and chicken ladies are 115 maybe it, no it was right at 100 grams and her uh skeins of yarn are at um 115 grams so I forgot to say that you can find all the information for all of these on my Ravelry pages and I won't link each individual Ravelry page but I will link my project page and you can just go and look at that um, and search through and find it. It's really not hard. I don't have a lot of stuff and what I've finished more recently is at the top because that's the way I have it set up. So instead of picking up and doing ribbing like she had in the pattern because you know, I followed her pattern. Um, I did an I-cord edging. So next time I knit it, I'm going to try to cast on more stitches for the sleeves and make it a little wider, but also do an applied I-cord edge. Um, do the increases and connect and then do the back and then put put it all together and knit it down to the bottom. Um, the cool thing about this is I got two skeins and I knit Little Miss Lilith a matching one and hers pulled so awesomely. Like I like mine, but hers is awesome. Um, I didn't do an I-cord edge because to be honest, I was so tired of doing the I-cord edging and I was kind of lazy, but okay because this looks fine um, I need to block it out a little bit more again because this one's rolling under but I just did a crochet edging on there for her 
and I used the numbers off of a different pattern and I cannot remember the name of the pattern but I again have a whole project page so I put this on her and I knit the size bigger and it just comes down way too low in the front for her so this is the front for her right now and it just comes down in the back a little lower and as she gets older and grows um, she'll be able to flip it around but again that's on spun sugar and I just oh, I love that that's awesome so that's my finished knitting um, my finished spins this is not hand knit this is something just in case you were wondering that um, a friend of mine got at like TJ Maxx or something and they got it home and it promptly came apart so I have to just whip stitch that together and get that back to her I need to it's sitting right there so I could remember it all right so all this spinning I have two four six eight nine skeins of yarn that I finished so I'll just put them all in my lap and talk about them one by one so that I can now put these up all right, so in no particular order, I have Hepburn from Flannel Cake Fibers, which is 90% merino, 10% silk noil, and this is only two ounces, and I got 106 yards, so it's a worsted weight. Those are pink neps in there. Yeah, you can tell better there. I love this yarn. This was very fun to spin. I think I've mentioned before, I like spinning bats in between. I like super thin spins and super consistent spins so I can just do something and not have to be so precise which I actually started watching a new spinners um, YouTube and I watched all of them in like a week um, JK Fiber Arts and she spins way more technical I guess than I do um, she like measures her twist and her plies and like all this stuff and that's great. I kind of want to be that person but then again not because I just don't want to go through all of the having to measure but it, it's really cool to see her measure through it. Um, so then the next thing was Take My Hand by Three Waters Farm. It's a 40% merino, 40% superwash merino. 20% silk and I got 618 yards from four ounces and it's very pretty I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I didn't expect to get so much yardage from this um, I spun it on my I spun the singles on my nano and applied this on my echo um, I just ex I don't know what I expected but I did not expect to get like so much yardage from this so I don't know what this is going to be. I have thought about selling some of my hand spun, but A, chicken lady, Lynn can attest to, she has still not gotten her prize from the last thing that I did, my first giveaway ever, because I am without a vehicle right now, which is for the birds. I'm just over it. I have been without a vehicle. At one point I told Chris, maybe we could be a single, um, vehicle family and you could just like go to work early in the morning and we would be fine at home and you know we wouldn't have to have uh, two car payments and we wouldn't have to have two car insurances and we could save more money and blah 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 I take it back I take it all back because it's bullshit I hate it I hate it I can't like at first it was cool and now it's it's just frustrating because I have to wait until he gets home. We've missed doctor's appointments. We've missed dentist appointments. Um, he can't just take off whenever from work. I mean, I know some people have that luxury, but he does not. Anyways, so even getting to the post office right now is just a pain in the butt because I have to like fill everything out and hope that Chris can get to the post office before he comes home which we've tried that but either a he forgets or b it's too late because the post office closes at 4 30 
which is about what time around the time he gets home and yes I'm putting that out there that I'm home alone but I'm also like not home alone so I'm just really weird about it I should probably shouldn't have gave that information but anyways I have guns so I'm not home alone and I'm not afraid to use them anyways okay Shh. so and then by the time he gets home I can't get to the thing in time and then on the weekends I want to sleep in and then like this past weekend because we did VBS this past week oh, I loved it but I was so tired I slept till 12 o'clock and apparently it closes at 12:30 on the weekends on Saturday and of course they're not open on Sunday and I was just like oh man I've got so much stuff I need to get to the out so all that to say um I've thought about selling some of my hands but right now it's not the time for that all right the next one is Alpine Meadow it's 50% alpaca 50% tussis silk it was November 2019's Fiber Club from um, created by LCB and I got 584 yards and this stuff is amazing um, I don't know how to explain this other than it kind of feels like flax but it's way softer and it definitely has like I actually know it it doesn't have a ton of give to it kind of like flax does so I guess I mean it kind of does feel like flax to be honest but like a soft flax it's beautiful it feels great this one I am thinking about knitting a very airy oversized in the sleeves oversized in the body um, oh my gosh cardigan and like an I cord bind off for the sleeves that are just like a little tighter so it's like poof anyways I think that would be cool because it would be very light and airy and because it's so hot here I could wear it in the mornings like when I get up I'm a little bit chilly normally um, and I could just wear it and it would keep me warm from like the AC chill um, that we have going on down here in the south because we like to run our air conditioners so there's that again that's what I have planned for I mean just like look at the drape okay that's so loud cool. anyways it's very drapey compared to the other ones um the next thing is dino land by banshee fiber arts i got 312 yards and it's 100 percent targi i was so excited spinning this so i spun it practically i spit it split it down the middle i spun half of it i stripped one half of it down even further and i can't remember how many i think like i want to say six times six or eight times and then I left the other side just completely like color progression. And I've, I've done fractals before, but a lot of my spinning before here recently, when I say fractals, I would, it's probably not really a fractal. I either like strip it all up into tiny strips or um, when I, went, I did spin together last year in October, I learned to open up the braid like because it's like tubular and like open it up and I never really thought about that I just kind of went with like the mill prep where it was already splitting and I would just split it off there and spin it that way but figuring that out has helped me spin across the top a lot better I still can't spin from the fold for nothing but yes anyways there's dino land um, I had planned to make a top with this, but it's only 312 yards, and so that's like a DK weight skein of yarn, and I would need more than that, so 
I have no idea, but I would not sell this. <laughs> this is one that like I want to keep. And I don't know why, because these aren't normally my colors. But it's fantastic. I want to see how it knits up. All right, getting close to the end, kind of. We're like halfway through. The next thing is Cosmic Brownie. It's 100% pole worth. I got 432 yards. Now, I do, I have shown this before in a smaller skein that I spun Z and plied S. And since then, I have found that I like to spin S, ply Z. Um, I think that's the directions. I spin counterclockwise, or I spin clockwise, and I ply counterclockwise. And I believe Z and S, that's what it is. Hang on. Can I actually tell you? Nope, I apply S. So I spin Z. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That is what I got out of that. Um, out of the other 100, well, so it was 100 grams altogether. And I don't think this is 100 grams by itself. I got this in a swap. And uh, the other part, I don't know how much it weighs, but when I find it, I'm gonna weigh them together and I will put that in my notes on my hand spun page. So there's that spin and I got a lot of stuff since I recorded last, but I'm not gonna show all of that because it's just too much. It would take forever in a day. You'll see it whenever I knit with it or spin with it. The next thing is Pink Puff. It's a barn to yarn braid. Um, I don't know the fiber. A lot of her stuff has like Jacob and Coriadale and stuff like that in it. Um, I got 198 yards for four ounces. And no, this can't be four ounces. Is it four ounces? 198 yards. Yeah, I think it's a, yeah, they're four ounce bats. So out of four ounces, I got that. So it's probably like an Aran weight yarn. Again, spinning the bats and just doing, you know, like look at that. It's so pretty. I, I used to have all of my spins had to be like this. Like to me, like this is pretty close to perfect <laughs> in my opinion not like it's not mill spun but like the same thinness no no thick and thin spots um plied it like just the right degree and all this stuff that i like which i don't even know what degree that is because i haven't checked it because i really don't know how to check my twist angle but um Anywho's, this being able to spin and just not have it to in my head be perfect, that's why I love bats. Now the next thing, I'll save that for last, the next spin I have is, y'all have seen this umpteen dozen times, it's the favorite shirt fresh from the wash from Wonderland Fibers, it's 100% organic Polworth. And I got 490 yards of this one and I got 224 yards on this one so what I did is I had eight ounces the plan is to knit a top with this with sleeves um, and it's just oh it's gorgeous so I got this when we went to Indiana back in February of 22 and it sat on my wheel for the longest time like I spun it spun all the singles well I spun half of them four ounces on my nano the other half I spun on my six and then I just set the ply cakes down and didn't mess with them for a while and then whenever Tour de Flea started, I was like, I have got to ply these together. So I got them plied together. They poofed up amazingly. They're like a, I would say probably a DK to worsted weight. There are some spots like, there are some spots that are thinner, more of like a fingering sport weight. But overall, what you get is this like DK worsted. So. 
I'll actually have to knit a swatch of this and see how it comes out. And I'm not a big swatch knitter because it's stupid to me. Anyways, um, the last finish I have that I have brought with me, because I feel like I have more, but maybe I don't. I'm just thinking. Um, the last one is I got some fiber from... So I went to the Blue Ridge Fiber Festival and I got to meet Tanya from Flannel Cake Fibers and I spent way too much money in her booth. I spent way too much money in that entire thing, but at her booth, I was just like, oh, like I love the way she dyes stuff and she dyes a lot of different breeds and different blends like this one. Um, and it was just amazing. So I got this one. It was 60% merino, 20% silk, 20% flax. And I got 338 yards. I named it Genesis 9. She had it named she has it named as fiber prism. And it is just a glorious rainbow. I split it down the middle and spun it um split it down the middle and spun it why am i struggling today words are just ugh, rough so you get these nice color blocks with it of fiber so it goes from like the red orange yellow green blue purple and like a grayish purple it is fantastic but it's got some variation in it so what I was saying is I spun it two ply and like on two by <laughs> ah! I spun it on one bobbin oh my gosh I don't know I'm sorry y'all I spun it on one bobbin all the colors all the way through from like say it started at red and it ended at purple so I spun it from red to purple and then the next one I spun from purple to red Whew, that was rough that was so hard oh any who's and then I made a pie cake because I don't like waste I don't like waste I don't I have not I don't buy enough of one color to really have the ability to waste any and get away with it. Um, so whenever I spin, I spin for like pretty much maximum yardage for whatever I want it to be for. So like this, I have no plans for. Um, if I knit something with it, it will probably be a cowl. So I wasn't really worried about like how much I got, but I do still want like enough if that makes sense but like for this spin I spun it to where I could get the most out of it so I can knit a top and only need eight ounces and if it's a little bit cropped that's fine because I can wear some high-waisted jeans my belly button ain't hanging out I don't know um, I don't understand that anymore like I used to want my belly button to hang out all the time. And now, it, I mean, every once in a while. But, like, no. I just want, like, to cover my body 90% of the time. 90% of the time I'm wearing something with sleeves on it. If not long sleeves, like short sleeves. Um, I don't hardly ever wear tank tops unless it's, like, super super hot which it is super hot this week it's we have heat advisories it's ridiculous um i have to keep going and checking on the animals and making sure they have enough water and they're doing fine because it is hot it is so hot um but i'm normally wearing like jeans or like more modest clothing than i used to wear i don't know what's wrong with me i used to beg to be a little hoochie mama all right, so works in progress. I have one, two, 
three, four. One I may or may not be able, you know what? I'm gonna pull it off and show you. So I'm gonna show you my knitting works in progress first. So my first knitting work in progress is, I got this yarn in Indiana when we went um, to visit family. because I didn't just go to a fiber festival literally three days before. I had to stop at the local yarn shop and get some. And I am knitting the Uptown Tee by Tori Yu. And that's a really bad picture of it, like in black and white like that. But there's like lace work, you'll be able to see it. There's lace work on the arms. So I, I was knitting on these two tops, mine and Lilith's tops, on the way to Indiana and to the Fiber Festival. Um, and whenever I finished them, I was like, okay, I'm starting something. So before we even left Indiana, I started this. And it is on Wool Addicts by Lane Yarns Footprints. It is a 45% cotton 42 percent virgin wool 13 percent nylon and it's a super wash wool it says so there's that and the colorway is num i don't know i don't know there's lots of numbers so there's your colorway <laughs> and it's in my bag from three by the sea designs which Oh my goodness. I was at the Fiber Festival and had an alarm set to be able to get this bag because I loved it. And whenever it came time, I sat down and I'm like refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. And then I realized I go on their Facebook page because I'm like, what's going on? And they had bumped it back a little bit. So then I set another alarm and somebody was actually talking to me and I was trying to not be rude, but I like looked at her and I was like, I am trying to get a bag and I'm waiting for the update. So it's not that I'm not listening to you. I am listening. I'm just really focused on this. And she was like, oh no, I totally understand. So I got this, it's called Peace Love Punch Bug and it's so cute. And here's the inside, three by the sea. I just, I love it. It's adorable. I'm so glad I got it. I didn't even look and see what size I was buying. I was like, okay. I knew she said that they weren't going to be doing it in the small size. And this is the first bag I ever got from them. But I was just like, oh my goodness, I have got to get this. I don't care. Is that affordable? Yes. Okay. Throw it in there. Anyways, this is my Uptown tee. And it's really scrunched up on the needles at this point because I have not split for the sleeves. So this is what you get. <laughs> so you cast on, and I believe you'll go back and pick up and do like ribbing for around the neck but you cast on and you do some short rows so that it's higher in the back and these are your sleeves which I have messed up on in some spots not in the middle but on the edges like what I've been doing recently the last like four rows you have to like decrease this row but increase this row and it's really really annoying me and I don't know how I'm messing up, but I am, and it's not beautiful on the edges, and I could rip it back, but I'm not going to. Because as long as I have the right number of stitches at the end, I'm good. But yeah, there's the sleeve part, and I haven't worked on this in a while, and I you'll see why next, because torta fleece, and I've been knitting on something else, but there's the arms. And this is just really beautiful yarn. It looks hand spun. It's got cotton in it, so it's really lightweight. Um, and hopefully it'll be something that I can wear, you know, during the summer, not on heat advisory days, which I could probably wear it on heat advisory days because I don't go outside on heat advisory days, except for in the morning. Um, like this morning I went out and checked on the animals, made sure they had all their water and food and everything. And I'll go out a little while later but like not during the hardest part of the day I'm not going out there so 
The next thing that I'm working on is in a Cottontail Farms bag. I got this at the festival. Um, I saw it and there was only like one of them in this size and I really like this size for everything pretty much. Like I could cram a whole sweater in here. I don't need to, but I could. Um, I should probably get a bigger bag, but I could cram a whole sweater in here. Um, and I saw this one and I was like, oh, I had to have it. I didn't really care for the polka dots. I'm not a polka dot person, but it's okay because the vegetables is all that matters. It is adorable. And it's just lined with, uh, it's just lined with white. I was hoping to get to see her again at another fiber festival, but Chris and I sat down and talked and realized like right now we're not going to be able to swing that fiber festival because we've got like my car problems and the wedding coming up and everything like that. So we still have to get tuxes for him and the boys and, um, there's a lot of stuff we want to do around the house and get done. Um, he's putting in a new shelf, a new yarn shelf for me. He's putting in um, the garden and everything. And just right now, we just went on vacation and it's just not feasible for us. So, all right. So, I am knitting this out of, gosh, it's a melted piece of chocolate. It's not melted anymore. It's like re-hardened, but. This is yarn B. The other one is like right over there in that bag. I, uh, I'll put it on my page, on my project page. It's yarn B, it's a cotton, 100%, well, it's not 100% cotton because it's got the sparkle in it. And I asked, Blinton has a friend from church that is turning five and they are doing her birthday party and they don't do birthday parties but on like special birthdays which I think every birthday is special but they mean like big number of birthdays like one five thirteen sixteen type deal I'm guessing she didn't say like the exact numbers but I'm guessing those are the numbers um and I asked her what she wanted for her birthday and she's turning five and she was like, uh, I don't know. And her mama was like, well, she really likes mermaids and she really likes uh, unicorns. So we did get her a unicorn with a mermaid riding on it. Awesome. Um, but then I texted her mom and asked, is there like anything she needs? Because I'm like a practical gift giver. Because while I love whenever my kids get gifts and stuff like that, I like gifts that can be like used up really quickly, i.e. like sparklers, for example. You use them, you throw them away, done. Um, trips to the zoo or, you know, this year I think I'm gonna ask for uh, our children's museum for the kids for us to have a, uh, a year pass. That's what I'm gonna ask for for Christmas. So for 2024, we'll be able to go me and the three kids and Chris and you know whatnot and it is a little bit of a drive for us but it, they have so many programs out there so her mom texted me back and said if you want to knit her something that would be nice and I kind of went back and forth because I've been meaning to knit something for them there's two little girls I can't find what daggum top this is um, there's two little girls and the, so there's a one-year-old and a five-year-old and um, I've been meaning to knit something for them I told her last Christmas like if I get done with all of my stuff I will knit that for you and then I just totally forgot because I'm I don't normally knit for other people I say that I knit for other people a lot more than I care to admit um, Anyways, I am so rambly. Anyways, so I was like, okay, I'm going to knit her a summer top because she will probably get more wear out of it. So I found this cotton yarn and I found a pattern on line. I just looked up through Ravelry and I found this on the Hobie website, the H-O-B-I-I -I website. And it's just a circular yoke. 
and then you split for sleeves. I'm almost done with the body. It's supposed to be like eight inches. It's making that noise. Something's making a noise. My wheel is over here. I'm sorry, guys. I have so much on my mind today. And funnily enough, Elias is right over there and hasn't interrupted yet. He's asleep. But I'm so sorry, y'all. This is what you get. So this is the top. I started from the inside of the ball and worked my way out. Um, I'm almost finished with the body. I've got probably an inch, inch and a half left maybe. It's supposed to be like eight inches. And then I do a ribbing. And then I come back and attach the sleeves. So all of this is from one ball. And I don't know, I may be able to get her I doubt I'll be able to get the whole outfit out of this. So I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and got another ball. But the only bad thing about that is I got that years ago. I'm itching. Oh my gosh. This fiber is like that yak fiber. Like makes my nose itch and it's just like floof. It's like Angora almost. Like it's everywhere. Um, But anyways, you probably, what? All right, go. Just walk behind the camera. Go. Shut the door behind you. No, nope, that door. Be quiet. Don't wake your brother up. Linton busted in. So yes, anyways, I've got this. I'm almost done with it. Get the sleeves done and y'all probably will not see it as a finished object, but you, I will try to get a picture of her wearing it. I know that her mom's gonna want me to like block her face out, but that's okay. Um, but I will get a picture of her wearing it. And I hope it fits her. I was looking at her this past week at BBS and was like, I don't know if it's going to fit her. If it doesn't, it'll fit the baby and I'll knit the next size up for her. All right. So the last two things I have. No, please go. Thank you. Uh, the last two things I have are spinning related. And Linton and I made bats on my blending board. We took the same type of yarn or the same type of fiber and blended bats. And this is my half. Well, what's left of my half is this bat. And to be honest with you, I stopped spinning it with this much left to spin because Torta Fleece had started. And I was just so irritated with it because it's just not not my colors but the plan for this is to ply them together so I spun his half and now I'm spinning my half we're gonna ply them together and my color is just off I look very pale um, and then we're going to do some weaving like a a um, wall hanging with this together so there's that it is pretty good spun it's crazy but it's just not he was very excited for it so i did it more for him and he wanted to spin together or not spin together but he wanted to make some together so i did that more for him um he was making bats like crazy i don't know if i'll ever spin them we might wet felt some of them and make something pretty cool wet felting um, as an experiment for them get outside get wet get messy it's hot out all that good stuff so all right and my last work in progress is this spin that's on my echo and I showed y'all the fiber in my bowl and this is how it's spinning up it doesn't look like much because it's just some gray fiber, but it's beautiful and it is so thin. I don't know if you can really like appreciate the thinness of this, if I can really show it. It is so thin. Like it's only broken on me once 
Um, at first I thought it was going to break a lot. I had to turn my tension all the way down on my wheel um, because it's just like was snatching it from my hand pretty much. And it is just glorious and soft and very, very, uh, it's going to be lace weight. All I have is two ounces of this. So I got this from a Paradise Fibers box. I believe it was last month's Paradise Fibers box. Um, monthly subscription. Um, what do you call it? Mystery subscription. So I got it. It's two ounces and they said that the person that spun it got over 500 yards out of just two ounces that's how thin it wanted to spin and I normally go with like however my yarn wants to spin you know I don't try to make it incredibly thin if it doesn't want to be thin oh my goodness this stuff is like so wispy and airy and when you spin it first of all it's all over the place and it is making my nose itch like crazy. I'm hoping whenever I wash it, that will help set some of this. If not, I cannot wear this around my neck. This would not be something, and that was what I had planned was to knit this into a shawl, a lacy shawl, because for the box, we got um, the yak silk, we got de-haired yak, two ounces, and we got I think an ounce or two ounces of de-gummed uh, silk cocoons. So I was going to spin all of those up and put them in a really nice shawl together. But I might have to knit a shawl for somebody else. Because this is ridiculous. My nose. Ah! Anywho. So I'm very sorry that... I mean, I guess I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm sorry that I have been so off today. Um, I just kind of did this on a whim. There was an interruption, but that's okay. It's not quite as embarrassing whenever your seven-year-old walks in as it is whenever you're like sitting here podcasting, talking to yourself, and your fiance walks in. And it's like, eek. Like, I know you know I do this. And I know you watch sometimes, but like, eh. That was Ockley Taco that time. I just like totally deleted it all because it was so weird and I laughed so I shouldn't have. But anywho, so for everybody that like podcast in front of their significant others in front of other people, I uh, give kudos to you because it's just so weird to me that I'm sitting here talking to a screen. Anyways, I didn't expect this to be so long. We're at 43 minutes. Uh, life stuff going on we will just talk about I mean I've kind of dispersed wife life stuff throughout um, my car going on vacation getting married soon yeah and I need to start knitting on I need to buy the yarn to knit on my shawl because I want to do a shawl for the wedding but at this point, I don't know. I mean, I have until October. Y'all think I could do it? Huh. Anyways, if y'all think that I can knit a lace weight shawl, like a thousand yards of a lace pattern lace weight shawl, I'll just tell you it's the Lilith shawl on by Boo Knits, and it's on Ravelry. Um, go look at that and tell me if you think I can knit it and have it blocked and finished before we leave for the wedding which is like the first of October do you think I can do it because I'm, I'm okay to be blocking while we're there I think anyways leave a comment down below give me some encouragement or talk some sense into me until then I will see y'all later bye